open the space for these emotions to be acknowledged or released or expressed, then guess what happens? It expands us. It gives us emotional and energetic range. Okay, so this is the first approach, the soft approach. And I will tell you more about the details of this approach or this strategy in another video. The second strategy is a dynamic emotional release. And uh, we use much more power, intensity, strength, and dynamic energies. So what I'm going to do is instead of going into the story or instead of diving into that emotion, instead of inviting myself into that space, I'm going to use fire and go like, I'm going to burn shit down today. So this is much more engaging into that power with intensity. This is a trishula. This is the power of change, transformation, and destruction. When we engage with that energy, we are not identifying necessarily ourselves with some of those shadow emotions that can be soft emotions like sadness or more uh, rage or anger emotions. But what we're saying is like, I don't need to dwell into it. I don't need to give space to that emotion. I'm just going to use fire to burn <laughs> myself to the ground. And so when, uh, when we do that, it works really well as well. Um, in my experience, because of my natural